Hey everyone, good morning. Today I wanted to start to explain about how to find which heterocyclic compound is more basic. And I wanted to start with comparing pyrazole with imidazole because, as usual, there is no video or like, I didn't find any explanation that clearly explained it. In English so I thought I would try to explain it as clear as I can first what you need to know is that pyrazole and imidazole are both aromatic and a really good rule to know is that if you have if you have an atom that has at least one pair of electrons and it is connected to an sp2 atom then it is sp2 as well then nitrogen number one it's an sp2 despite the fact that it's connected to four things it's connected to hydrogen nitrogen carbon and the lone pair of electrons so you might think it's sp2 you might think it's sp3 but it is sp2 so nitrogen number one is an sp2 and this pair of electrons is one of the pi electrons that is included in the aromaticity so when you, you when you want to count the pi electrons, you want to count this pair of electrons. So as you can see, you have two, four, six here. And here you have two, four, six. This pair and this pair, it's not included because you have this double bond here and here. So only this of electrons is included in the aromaticity so what you need to compare to find out which which one is more basic is you need to look at the conjugate acid so like if they take a proton will the conjugate acid be stable and if it's stable then that means that the original compound is more basic so if the conjugate acid is more stable then the original compound is more basic but you also need to know is that because we said that this pair of electrons is included in the pi electrons so it's not basic because if we put a hydrogen here instead of this pair of electrons like if we form a bond here then we wouldn't have any pair, any pair of electrons here on nitrogen number one. So we will break the aromaticity, and this is if you break the aromaticity, the compound turns like it reduces its stability. So this nitrogen, number three here, and number two here, is a basic nitrogen. So when you want to look at the conjugate acid, you add hydrogen here and hydrogen here of course you form a bond instead of this pair of electron okay and it becomes positive here also it becomes positive okay so in this two, in these two compounds we added a hydrogen here and we didn't break the aromaticity so this doesn't help us until now and find out which one is more is more basic so what you need to know what you need to do is draw the resonance structures of the conjugate acid of the imidazole and the pyrazole that's what you need to know that's what you need to do so i already i've already drawn them and they both have five resonance structures so like if you if one has like seven resonance structures and one has two 
then you can tell that the one that has seven resonance structures is more stable because the resonance stabilizes the compound. But these two have, each one has five, so this doesn't help us as well. So let's compare the resonance structures. Okay, these are the resonance structures of the pyrazole conjugate acid. And if you take a look at the charges, by the way, if you look at the numbering here, it's like I can count, but I put one, four, two, five, three. These numbers refer to where the lone pair is. So like if you look at this first resonance structure, which is like the conjugate acid, the lone pair is at, nit is at nitrogen number one. Here, it's at position number four, one, two, three, four. Here, it's at nitrogen number two, one, two, like that. And if you look at the resonance structures, like for example, look at this one, number four. You have two positive chargers, two positive charges next to each other, which is not good. Here also, and here. This is not good. Well, for two reasons. First, you know that, like, positive charge, positive charges, like, they hate each other, so they don't want to be near each other. And you can look at it in, in another way, that nitrogen that is positively charged, it's an electron withdrawing group. So here we have a positive charge and we have an electron withdrawing group next to it. So what it does, it takes the electrons from this nitrogen and it increases the positive charge on one nitrogen. So like it balances out, but it still, it increases positive charge on one atom. So this is not good. Or you could just say that positive charges next to each other are not good. And let's take a look at the metazole conjugate acid resonance structures. Here they are, five. As you can see, the, the positive charges here are not next to each other, they are further away which is better. It's still, it's still not, not that good, but it's better than having two positive charges next to each other. That's why imidazole is more basic because the imidazole conjugate acid resonance structures are more stable. The positive charges are further away from each other. So, Metazole is more basic than Pyrazole. That's it for part one. I will keep uploading, like I will make this maybe serious and like to compare basicity of heterocyclic compound because like in the exams, they like to ask students to compare basicity of heterocyclic compounds and I will try to make a series that that covers up that covers as many examples as possible. So this was the first part of the series. And as usual, if you have any questions or you need any organic chemistry help, you can add me on Skype. It's in the description and I would gladly help for free. Good luck.